Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate each and every one of you for making this one of the greatest years in the history of the Nakatomi Corporation. On behalf of our president, Mr. Ozu, and the board of directors, we thank all of you and wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All right, man. So your lady sees you, you run into each other's arms, the music comes up, and you live happily ever after, right? I could live with that. So if this don't work out, man, you got a place to stay? I'll find a place. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pull into the parking garage and wait. If you score, you hit me up on my car phone, and then I'll take your bags to the desk. You strike out, I'll get you to a hotel. You're all right, Argyle. Just remember that when you sign for the tip. Ellis, I want you to meet John McLean, Holly's husband. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, due to the Nakatomi Corporation's legacy of greed around the globe, it is about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. You will be witnesses. Now, where is Mr. Takagi, the man who used to be in charge here? Born, Kyoto, 1937. Family emigrated to San Pedro, California, 1939. Interned, Mansonar, 1942 to 43. Scholarship student, University of California, 1955. Law degree, Stanford, 1962. MBA, Harvard, 1970. President Nakatomi Trading, Vice Chairman Nakatomi Investment Group. Enough! And father of five. I am Takagi. It's a pleasure to meet you. I don't have the code. You broke in here to access our computer? Any information you get, when they wake up in Tokyo in the morning, they'll change it. You won't be able to blackmail our executives, threaten our pro... Sit. Down. Mr. Takagi. I'm really not interested in your computer. But I need the code key, because I am interested in the $640 million in negotiable bearer bonds that you have locked in your fault and the computer controls the vault. You want money? What kind of terrorists are you? Who said we were terrorists? I assume you realize that the bonds represent at most 10 days operating capital for your parent organization, making this nothing more than a temporary setback. Now, the code, please. It's useless to you. There are seven safeguards on our vault, and the code key is only one of them. You'll never get it open. Then there's no reason not to tell it to us. That's a very nice suit, Mr. Takagi. It would be a shame to ruin it. I'm going to count to three. There will not be a four. Give me the code. One. Two. Three. I don't know it, I'm telling you. Get on a jet to Tokyo and ask the chairman. You're just going to have to kill me. Okay. The fire has been called off, my friend. No one is coming to help you. You might as well come out and join the others. I promise I won't hurt you.
I wanted this to be professional, efficient, adult, cooperative, not a lot to ask. Alas, your Mr. Takagi did not see it that way, so he is no longer among the living. <gasps> We're prepared to go anywhere you make us. When we've achieved our aim, you can walk out of here or be carried out. Decide now, each of you. But remember, we've planned everything to the last detail. We are completely in charge. Now, I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. A security guard we missed? Security guard? They usually tired out old policemen growing fat on a pension. This is something else. Ich bin auf dem drei big drittens Boden. Come and see. Sofort. Hans, we have to do something. Yes, we do. We have to tell Karl his brother is dead. Tell him to come down. Carl, come down here. Franco, you and Fritz take the body upstairs and out of sight. I don't want the hostages to think anything. He's mine, now! You'll have it. But let Heinrich plant the detonators and Theo prepare the vault. After we call the police, they'll waste hours trying to negotiate, and then you can tear the building apart looking for this man. But until then, we do not alter the plan. And if he alters it? What do you think? Cops? No, John. Your husband? What does he think he's doing? His job. His job is 3,000 miles away. Without him, they might let us go. Tell that to Takagi. Almost done. The charges will disable all the elevators except for the service elevator. Make it quick. Hans wanted this done already. Dispatch to 8 Lincoln 30, over. This is 8 Lincoln 30. Come on in, over. Investigate a code 2 at Nakatomi Plaza, Century City. 8 Lincoln 30 to dispatch. I'm on my way. for help on this channel can hear me, acknowledge this transmission. I say again, what's left of him? Can you identify yourself? Well, listen up, Roy. If you think of anything else you think we need to know, don't be shy, okay? In the meantime, I want you to find a safe place to hold up and let us do our job, understand? Have you heard of this game, football? Yeah, they call the ball a pig skin. <laughs> I wonder if they pull it off their own hides. <laughs> Who's at the door? Hey, John boy. Ellis? Yeah, it's Ellis. Now listen, John, they're giving me a few minutes to try to talk some sense into you. I know you think you're doing your job, John, and I can appreciate that, but you're just dragging this thing out. Now look, nobody gets out of here until these guys can talk to the L.A. police, and that just ain't gonna happen until you stop messing up the works. Ellis, what have you told them? I told them we were old friends and that you were my guest at the party. Tell me about it. 
They want you to tell them where the detonators are. They know people are listening. They want the detonators or they're gonna kill me. Ellis, I can't do that. John, I think you could get with the program a little, huh? The police are here now. It's their problem. Now tell these guys where the detonators are so no one else gets hurt. I'm putting my life on the line for you now, pal. John, they have hostages. They're willing to kill all of them and me if you don't give them what they want. Good, then you'll give us what we want and save your friend's life. You're not part of this equation. It's time you realize that. Hey, what am I, a method actor? Hans, babe, put away the gun. This is radio, not television. Attention, police. Attention, police. This is Sergeant Al Powell. Give me that. This is Deputy Chief Robinson. Who is this? This is Hans Gruber. I assume you realize the futility of direct action against me. We have no wish for further loss of life. What is it you do wish for, Mr. Gruber? I have comrades in arms around the world languishing in prison. The American State Department enjoys rattling its saber for its own ends. Now it can rattle it for me. The following people are to be released from their captors. In Northern Ireland, the seven members of the new Provo Front. In Canada, the five imprisoned leaders of Liberté du Québec. In Sri Lanka, the nine members of the Asian Dawn Movement. When these revolutionary brothers and sisters are free, the hostages in this building will be taken to the roof and they will accompany us in helicopters to the Los Angeles International Airport where they will be given further instructions. You have two hours to comply. Two hours? Sir, I wish I was authorized to do that, but... Hello? Mr. Gruber? Sir? Sir? Yeah. The FBI is here. The FBI is here? Now? Yes, sir. Right over there. Hold this. You want a breath mint? Hi. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agent Johnson. This is Special Agent Johnson. How are you? No relation. I'm Dwayne Robinson, LAPD. I'm in charge here. Not anymore. Uh, no problem. Uh, you'll have the LAPD's full support. Thank you. Let's start with a debriefing. Well, the best we can figure is we've got maybe 30 or 35 hostages on the 30th floor with seven, maybe eight terrorists. Sounds like an A7 scenario. Thank you. We'll handle it from here. When we need to commandeer your men, we'll try and let you know. Aren't you forgetting something? Such as? What about John McClain? He's the reason why we have the information we have up until now. He's also the reason why you're facing less terrorists now than you would have been an hour or two ago. He's inside? Who is he? Well, he may be a cop, and we're checking on that. One of yours? Uh, no, sir. All right, those are the city engineers. They're going into the street circuits. And those guys in the suits, I don't know who they are. That's the FBI. They're ordering the others to cut the building's power. Regular as clockwork. Or a time lock. Precisely. The circuits that cannot be cut are cut automatically in response to a terrorist incident. You asked for miracles, Theo. I give you the FBI. We need the building shut down. You can't do it from down here. It's got to be done from downtown. They have to take out a whole city grid. You're talking 10 square blocks. Johnson, that's crazy. It's Christmas. There's thousands of people. We can't... I need authorization. Authorization? How about the United States government? Lose the grid, or you'll lose your job. I wish to talk to the FBI. This is Special Agent Johnson of the FBI. The State Department has arranged for the return of your comrades. Helicopters are en route, as you requested. I hear you. We'll be ready. When they touch down, we'll blow the roof. 
They'll spend a month sifting through the rubble, and by the time they figure out what went wrong, we'll be sitting on a beach, earning 20%. Listen to me, it's a double cross. The whole roof of the building is wired to blow the moment those helicopters touch down. We are both professionals, but this is personal. John? John! You killed my only family. For this, you will die. Still the cowboy, Mr. McLean. Are Americans all alike? Well, this time, John Wayne does not walk off into the sunset with Grace Kelly. You'd have made a pretty good cowboy yourself, Hans. What was it you said to me before? yippee ki -yay? McLean, I presume. Pleasure to meet you, partner. Well, she's my wife, Holly. Holly Gennaro. Holly McLean. Hello, Holly. You got yourself a good man. Take good care of him. This one's with me. Well, well, well. Merry Christmas, Argyle. <laughs> Man, if this is their idea of Christmas, I gotta be here for New Year's. <laughs> 